Kings of Comedy, ladies and gentlemen, D.L. Hubert! Allow me to reintroduce myself, my name is Hope, H to the O.V. I used to move snowflakes by the O.V. I can't see the man. Alright, that's enough for him. Congratulations on winning the Super Bowl, you know, man. I was in New York at the time, boy. Y'all was some celebrating motherfuckers, boy. Denver was not celebrating as much, but they had. Gotta get the show over. Black people gotta get out of Bellevue for the shit stars and all that shit. All on Twitter, you we going to Bellevue? Oh, uh, uh, fuck that shit. Oh, uh, shit has been rough, man. I, I, flying for me now is scary ever since Malaysia lost a whole airplane with 250 people. That put shit in perspective for you. I'll never complain about America losing my bags again. I mean, right? Fuck my luggage, do you know where I am? I and then the dirty sons of bitches didn't even send letters out, just said text, your family's dead. What? Sad face. What the fuck? Shit been rough for me ever since Michael Douglas said that oral sex caused throat cancer. My, my throat has hurt every morning since then. I'm, I'm in the mirror every fucking day. Ah, ah. No one knows for sure whether eating pussy causes throat cancer, but I know not eating pussy causes divorce. So you, know, you can risk a lump in your throat or a lump sum missing from your retirement account. You can, you can have radiation or mediation, but you gonna make a fucking choice. Seattle, y'all got technology locked down. I hate te technology going too far. I hate watching porn on my laptop. Who the fuck is buffering? <laughs> you know how hard it is to hold your dick and keep hitting refresh. That's... <laughs> and cell phones will make you act like a crackhead. You, you're welcome to a total stranger. Can I borrow your charge of man? I suck your dick for a charger, man. You too lazy to remember number. You lose your phone, you can't even call your house. I lost my phone, can you call my house? Sure, what's your number? One, motherfucker, my number's one. We are so addicted to technology. A recent study said that most Americans would rather give up sex than they sell phones. Shit. I don't know what kind of phones y'all got. Mine has a USB port, but nowhere to put my dick. Fuck that. So fuck a phone if you can't fuck a phone. I guess the new G-Spot is 4G by Verizon. We lost Nelson Mandela, one of the greatest men of this century or any other, man. It was, uh... I watched the funeral, they had a dude pretend to speak sign language and he didn't know sign language was the goddamn. I was like, I know I'm high, but is this motherfucker saying the same shit over again? Do deaf people stutter? And the fucked up part is deaf people instantly knew that he was bullshit. They tried to tell, but nobody would listen. I just... Oh, he's a liar! <laughs> I'm glad President Obama got reelected, but that motherfucker cannot build a website, huh? <laughs> they should have the Geek Squad park right in front of the White House. <laughs> I'm glad he got reelected, but that first debate scared the fuck out of black people. We, we were shouting at the TV like it was a football game. <laughs> Motherfucker, say something! Ah, oh, this nigga here, man. We gon' lose, we gon' lose. I gotta go outside and scrape this whole bumper sticker off my car. This... Poor Mitt Romney, he still can't believe he lost. He called in the Fox News every week, are you sure? He didn't like poor people at all. I'm not saying he was a gold digger, but he wasn't fucking with no broke niggas, that's for sure. That 47% comment sunk his campaign. He said that shit at a buffet. Now, I'll never be president, but I know you don't talk shit to the people that's about to serve you your dinner. He must not have seen the help. Hey, does anybody else's pie taste like shit, this pie? Then they tried to blame it on the weather, where if it weren't for Hurricane Sandy, Mitt Romney would be president. Well, if that is true, that would mean even God voted against this motherfucker. Right? <laughs> How's the election in America? It's really close, God. <laughs> Send the flood. <laughs> Are 
Are you sure? I've done it before. I have to do it again. <laughs> the election in 2012 changed the course of American history. Three states legalized gay marriage. Two states legalized marijuana. <laughs> so when the Bible says if a man lays with another man, he should be stoned. <laughs> You motherfuckers took that shit serious. I think it's fucked up that weed is legal and Twinkies went out of business. I mean, it's like the Lord giveth and taketh away. I don't know why the fuck they call it recreational marijuana. What the fuck is so recreational about stopping at a stop sign waiting for it to turn green? You know? I'm about to run this motherfucker. Who my throat hurt? Do your throat hurt? This is They even have weed vacations in Colorado. That's great for adults, but fucked up for kids. <laughs> daddy, how come we can't go skip? Because your daddy just bought an ounce. <laughs> and who the fuck are you anyway? <laughs> States that have legalized marijuana experience a 25% reduction in suicide rates. <laughs> yeah, because it's hard to kill yourself when you don't remember where you put the fucking rope. <laughs> the fuck did I come in the garage for? <laughs> You ever so high you swerved to avoid a tree and then realize it's that air freshener hanging from the rear view mirror? Oh my God, I ran into the woods, I smell pine. You ever so high you look at yourself in the mirror and tell yourself you high, you are high. And you answer yourself back, I ain't know. I'll be glad when they legalize marijuana ever. I'm tired of pretending like I got glaucoma. Now gay marriage is back in it. I don't even understand why people worry about that. Well, gay sex is a sin. Well, if it's a sin and they willing to answer for it, what the fuck that got to do with you? I never understood that shit, man. And I come out the people that quote the Bible only quote the Bible like it only talked about one thing, gay sex. Like gay sex didn't make guys top seven sins. <laughs> it didn't make gluttony, greed, envy, slaughter. I ain't, I ain't never seen nobody trying to ban second helpers. That shit is not. Gluttony's just as bad. So whether you put too much food in your mouth or dick, it's all the same. <laughs> Chick-fil-A got involved in the gay marriage controversy. Now, I love Chick-fil-A's fried chicken so I'm opposed to their stance on gay marriage. So to compromise, I decided I'm gonna eat the chicken, but I'm gonna leave the bun alone. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> gay sex is a sin. You wanna stop from gays from having sex? Let them get married. Shit. <laughs> Our attitudes about this are changing, man, as a country. It's evolving much faster than anybody thought they would. Matter of fact, Michael Sands, who played for Missouri, was the first collegiate athlete, potential draft pick ever to come out, admit that he was gay before the draft. And then for pro day, he proceeded to run a very slow 4-9. And let me tell you something. You can be gay, but you can't be gay and slow. You got to, you got to come out the gate faster than you came out the closet. You know, this. The black community, we were having a real hard time with this gay thing, man. 70% of black people that identify themselves as Christian are opposed to gay marriage. But yet 70% of our children are born out of wedlock. So that's a hell of a hypocritical thing. <laughs> Let he among us who is without sin wear the first rubber. <laughs> a lot of black ministers wouldn't support the president because of his stance on gay marriage. They called it a moral issue. Ain't that a bitch? It's amazing that black ministers would be so harsh on gay dudes because it wasn't for gay dudes. Many of them would not have a choir director, so... Uh, <laughs> 2012 was the year of the slave movement. I fucked around and watched Lincoln and Django on the same day. I was all niggered out. I like Lincoln, but that was a long fucking movie. We weren't even slaves that long. I was like, shit! The fuck is Harriet Tubman when you need her? I gotta go. That's... Four score and seven years ago, I sat down in this fucking theater. Let's move this shit along. It was so long when it was over, I was walking through the parking lot going, free at last, free at last. <laughs> Leonardo DiCaprio was excellent in Django, but that is not the first time that man said nigga. That's all I know. He was, he was a nigga expert. Like, he didn't need a coach or nothing. I got it. <laughs> Didn't work out good for everybody that said nigga. Paula Dean said nigga, it cost her $12 million in a week. Yeah. Who knew niggas was so expensive? <laughs> I 
I don't even know why people got mad at Paula Dean. Her cookbooks will kill a lot more of us than that word. Oh. If you follow them recipes, you're gonna be dead next week any goddamn way. <laughs> I'm offended and I lost a foot. <laughs> Paula Dean cookbooks will kill more black people than Newports, boy. <laughs> Riley Cooper of the Philadelphia Eagles, he got caught on tape saying, I jump over this fence and kill every nigga here. He said that shit at a Kenny Chesney concert. Oh. Ain't no niggas at a Kenny Chesney concert. <laughs> now the NFL is trying to get on the N-word controversy. The NFL wants to penalize any player using the, the word nigga on the field 15 yards. <laughs> If players can't use the word nigga on the field, I don't think owners should be able to use it during renegotiation. <laughs> that nigga want how much? <laughs> Wait, that nigga, shit. <laughs> how the fuck do you even call that penny? <laughs> Unnecessary nigger on number 25. <laughs> Upon further review, the play is overruled. He said bigger. <laughs> A lot of shit is different, man. There have been six bear attacks in the United States in the last few months. None of them have been black people. I don't think a bear's ever even seen a black person. Right? <laughs> what the fuck is that? I don't know, but it sure is fast. Do you spell we? <laughs> Animals don't attack us. You are what you eat. You eat us, you have the same diseases we had. How can you not hunt? Man, I ate that black dude, now I got high blood pressure, man. <laughs> Son of a bitch done gave me gout. I got gout. <laughs> Next black dude I eat be coming out of Whole Foods. I'm just... That last one was stringy. <laughs> he tastes like anger and seasoning salt. It's... Drop me by Ray I gotta get my insulin shots, man. <laughs> During the Super Bowl, they had an interracial Cheerios commercial featuring a black man and a white woman and an interracial baby. And a lot of the country got upset. Apparently, the country's not ready for the thought of a black man and a white woman being so concerned about their cholesterol. <laughs> I wonder what the country been so upset if an interracial couple was eating Cocoa Puffs. I guess you can only eat the cereal that reflects your station in life. Like, gay people gotta eat Fruit Loops. Uh, bisexuals can only use half and half. <laughs> there was a Coca-Cola commercial during the Super Bowl that featured every country around the world singing our national anthem, which you think would make people happy. After a while, oh, we are a melting pot. People even got upset. I can't believe we let those other countries sing the national anthem. Why do we let them do that, motherfucker? Because those are all the countries we owe money to. <laughs> we let them sing or pay the fuck up. <laughs> this Duck Dynasty people got people controversial. <laughs> that controversy got people fucked up. I can't get worried about a dude whose job it is every morning to get up and trick a duck. <laughs> He said some of the things about gay people, about black people. He said black people were much happier before they had civil rights. I never heard them complaining about white people at all. Motherfucker, they didn't want to die. That wasn't, that wasn't happiness, that was fucking fear. Megyn Kelly of Fox News got on TV right before Christmas and said, everybody knows Santa was white and Jesus was white. Now Santa, of course, is a imaginary character, and I could not have imagined a white dude dropping shit off in the neighborhood I grew up in. <laughs> Unless it was a warrant. Ho, 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 is your brother home? <laughs> that ain't Santa. How you know Santa drove a sleigh? He just hopped out of an Impala. <laughs> Jesus was white, man. There's a new bo bo uh, movie out called The Son of God, and a lot of co controversies in this movie because a lot of people say Jesus was too handsome. And that's true, because in the New Testament, there's even no description of Jesus, man. But biblical scholars believe that based on the reason of the world he lived in and the diet of those particular people, that Jesus wasn't a handsome man. He was most likely short and hunchback. <laughs> so all these years, we've been worshiping Danny DeVito. <laughs> How come we praying to Shrek? Shout out and praise the Lord, goddammit. Jesus was a white dude. Everybody know. Well, they also think Jesus did to make you believe he was white. Like when he turned over all those tables in that temple and didn't go to jail. <laughs> I'm 
pretty sure Jesus was a black man. You can tell by what happened to him. He was tried, convicted, and executed for a crime he never committed. <laughs> I'm innocent, sure you are, darky. Get on the cross. <laughs> the Old Testament said Jesus had skin of brass, hair of lamb's wool. You let a dude look like that come to an American airport these days. Oh. TSA be pulling him out of line. <laughs> Come here, put your sandals in the bin. Yeah. And then 12 motherfuckers, what you do? Oh, you the Lord? Okay, it's gonna be a miracle if you make your flight. I know that shit. You can walk across water, but I'll be damned you're gonna make Southwest leave on time. <laughs> OJ Simpson's back in the news. That's a fat fucker now. <laughs> he went from OJ to Mountain Dew, didn't he? <laughs> OJ went to prison and lost his neck. I'm innocent! Yeah. Ariel Castro, the man who had three girls chained in his basement for 11 years in Cleveland, he committed suicide now. They had this motherfucker on suicide watch, but they only checked every three days. He's like, this motherfucker's not getting a hint. Maybe we should put a rope in this baloney sandwich. Charles Ramsey, the man who rescued those three girls now, he has a new book coming out. How come they always find the craziest looking black dude to tell them what happened? Not you, sir, you look too normal. No, you, the barber from coming to America. Tell the country what you saw. Well, I was coming from McDonald's. When that motherfucker said McDonald's, white people leaned in close. This is gonna be good. Black people all over the country went, ah! <laughs> Son of a bitch said, McDonald's on CNN. I, I ain't going to work tomorrow. Fuck that shit. You wanna hear that shit in the break room? Hey, Lydell, wanna go to McDonald's? Fuck you, Ralph. I haven't been no goddamn McDonald's. <laughs> I recently took a trip to Qatar, which is in the Middle East. I flew an Arabic airline. I don't know if you ever woke up with the pilot speaking Arabic, but that shit is fucking horrifying. I woke up, all I heard was, ha, ha, ha. I immediately jumped up, oh my God, they got the plane. Oh, no. <laughs> Jesus, take the wheel. <laughs> Over there, men have all the rights. They can have as many women as they want, Lord, they keep them in the same standard of living. Now, women have virtually no rights. If a woman gets disrespectful with a man over there, she can be jailed or beheaded or hung. She know ain't no black woman over there. <laughs> Motherfucker be hanging from trees like a Christmas ornament. <laughs> with a sign that says she had to have the last word. And, and it was the last word. You go all over the world, you realize what a special country we have, man. We do, we got a special country, man. You ain't even gotta go nowhere to realize how special we are. Watch the Olympics. Like, I was watching the Winter Olympics. We didn't win a lot of medals because there wasn't no black people. You need black people if you want gold medals. <laughs> we ain't good at the Winter Olympics. We good at shit you learn how to do free at the park. <laughs> we are, man. No, I'm serious. In America, we love our Olympic athletes, whether they win or lose. They still come home and get a parade. It ain't like that in the rest of the world. China, the motherfuckers lose, they die. That's it. <laughs> the Chinese bronze medalist at the next Olympics. <laughs> what happened to Josh Ang? He no make it. <laughs> I was watching Olympic swimming, man, in the summer a couple summers ago, and I was wondering to myself, why are there no Cuban swimmers? <laughs> if you put a picture of Miami at the end of that pool, <laughs> Watching the Olympic swimming made me question our immigration policy. Cubans can swim here and they can stay, but Mexicans can't walk to the very country they border and have been instrumental in building. So if I were Mexican, I would float over to Cuba and ride back with them motherfuckers. <laughs> Are you Cuban? C. <laughs> Are you sure? C. All right, let him in, but if he touches the piñata, he's out of here. I swear to God. Unemployment rate in the rest of the country is 8%, man. Remember you stuck shit at your job because you just knew you could get another one? Remember that? You be in the break room, fuck this job. I can get another job. They can kiss my ass. Not no more, huh? 
suddenly your tolerance for bullshit is a lot higher now. Look at me. Hey, the manager calls you a nigga. Well, did he put laid off in front of it? <laughs> laid off nigga is much worse than the regular nigga. <laughs> The economy's so bad because we're not the manufacturing power we once were, nor are we the educational power, man. Look at all the jobs Americans once held in great numbers because we're the most educated that you very rarely see them do anymore. Like, when the last time you went to an American doctor? American doctors are only on TV shows. My doctors always smell like curry. That's all the fuck I'm saying. I took a taxi to my doctor's office. He walked up. I'm like, what the fuck? Didn't you just drop me off here? And it's hard to tell if you get medical attention when you can't understand shit nobody's saying. Is that your last name or the shit I got? Aww. My wife called me, what did the doctor say? Pong, baton, phone, phone. I'm not the I gotta get Rosetta Stone to figure out my diagnosis. <laughs> that. Every time somebody wants to make the word really controversial, they always say it like it's like saying nigga. Like you can't say retarded. Saying retarded is a slur. It would be as if someone said nigga. That's not fucking true. Retarded is an actual medical diagnosis. You can go to your doctor right now, look you dead in your face and go, your son is retarded. Now, you can get mad if you want to, but you leave in that office with a retarded boy. That's the way that shit happens. <laughs> ain't nobody ever got diagnosed with nigga. That shit ain't gonna happen. <laughs> Mrs. Hughley, are you sitting down? <laughs> We just got the test results in. <laughs> they confirm your son has nigger. Oh my God! How did he get it? Was he in Tacoma at any time? Was he exhibiting any signs? He was This is worse than we fear. He has second stage, nigga. We'll have to act immediately. We hope to have to have any chance. Is he gonna be alright? We can't promise you anything. We're gonna prescribe heavy doses of Kovasi and chicken wing. We'll be moving him to Section 8 housing immediately. We'll watch round the clock episodes of 106 in Park. We'll just A lot, of shit. a lot of shit is different, man. It is, a lot of shit is different. Like, uh, I w <laughs> You motherfuckers. I was watching the news and the Pope, I mean, uh, the President Obama just went and visited the Pope at the Vatican and the Pope gave the President papers and the President gave the Pope seeds. <laughs> He's only the Pope now because Pope Benedict resigned last year. How the fuck the Pope quit? <laughs> February 28th is my last day. <laughs> I got a word from the Lord and the District Attorney. <laughs> they say he quit amid all the potential molestation scandals, man. That smoke coming from the Vatican was not them letting us know we got a new Pope. Them motherfuckers were burning documents. <laughs> <laughs> Hurry up, the SWAT team had to know. Uh the Pope just leaves the papacy. <laughs> that hasn't happened in 700 years. I thought Catholics was against pulling out. <laughs> Pope Francis, you know Pope Francis used to be a bouncer at nightclubs and now he's the Pope. That's an amazing thing, except every once in a while after mass he have a flashback and forget he ain't a bouncer no more. He just break out, you motherfuckers ain't got to go home, but you gotta get the fuck out of here. <laughs> oh, money pop, Neil. <laughs> what is that? I think that's Latin for last call. We got <laughs> oh, a lot of shit is different. I don't like these kids these days. These kids are fucking soft. Leave them in the car in the summer and they die. What type oh. of shit is that? <laughs> We got left in the car in the summer and we didn't die because we had sense enough to get out the fucking car. <laughs> it's hot, we in the car, we gonna die, not me, I'm getting out the fucking car. <laughs> you gonna get a whooping, well that's better than dead, right? Like, <laughs> kids get bullied on Facebook, what type of bullshit is that? He's bullying me on Facebook! Well cut your computer off. <laughs> Kids gotta ride a bike with a helmet on. We never rode a bike with a fucking helmet. You fell and hit your head, you just hit your goddamn head. You stagger home with a lump on your head. Your mother got mad at you, you done hit your goddamn head. Lay down, take a nap. 
Mama, I got devil vision. Well, I'm the one in the middle, motherfucker. Lay down. <laughs> Remember when your mother used to smoke in the house? She didn't give a shit about secondhand smoke. <laughs> Stop all that goddamn coughing. <laughs> I don't know where you got that childhood asthma from. It's... Kids got baby food. We ain't no fucking baby food. Just the shit your mama chewed up and gave you. Remember that? <laughs> Open your mouth. Want this pork chop after you sucked all the juice out of this? <laughs> this pork chop tastes like Benson and Hedges. <laughs> Greens ain't supposed to taste like Miss Hall. This is bullshit. <laughs> now, when the child is teething, they get ambisol and Tylenol. When we were cutting teeth, your mother would just rub whiskey on your gums. <laughs> Can you feel your teeth? I can't even feel my face. <laughs> They use whiskey for everything back then. You got a cold, you got a hot toddy, this much liquor, this much tea. Your little ass drift right off. Oh my God. You sleep so long, by the time you wake up, you ain't had no cold no more. I feel better, but it's Christmas again. Now when a child is peeing in the bed, the parents understand, well, he's having night terrors or some kind of muscle problem. We're peeing in the bed, our parents would embarrass the fuck out of him. <laughs> they get on the phone, let me tell you what these little nasty bastards keep doing. <laughs> hey, piss pot, come tell your daddy what you did. <laughs> he be outside playing, piss pot, come on in the house. <laughs> and we all peed in the bed because we had the pee dream, you know the dream. <laughs> you thought you was at the toilet, but you wasn't. <laughs> you be just getting into it, God damn. I knew this toilet wasn't real. <laughs> now my mattress gonna smell like asparagus. <laughs> Some of us had the pee dream when we was adults. Don't act like it's just me, fuck you. <laughs> you haven't lived till you peed on yourself as a grown person. Here we go again. <laughs> I am pissed by. <laughs> Kids these days got it hard, man. You know, there have been 14,500 allegations of child molestation leveled against the Boy Scouts of America, man. I always knew something was wrong with a fucking Scoutmaster. A grown man come over your house with tight-ass shorts and a scarf tied around his neck. Would you like to spend the night in the woods with me, little boy? Nah, I'm staying home with my mom. Fuck that shit. I don't want to earn a married bad for sucking dick, you was... And what did they give you this bad for? Keeping a secret? We was growing up, they said you want to be a positive member of society, you go to church, you play sports, you go to school. Now between Penn State, Syracuse, and Catholic priests, I suggest these kids take their chances on the streets. At least when a dope dealer tried to fuck you, it's just out of some money. There was a ball boy from Syracuse, he said he was molested from the time he was 13 to the time he was 28. Now, admittedly, math has never been my strong suit. But if the coach is still fucking you at 20, <laughs> when you're 28, <laughs> You got a boyfriend. Like, Fifteen years is a long time to be that naive. At three years old, I knew I didn't like dick. I'm like, I'm telling. He keep trying to touch my dick leg. I grew up next to a pedophile my whole life. My father said, don't you ever let me catch him. Little boys leave that man's house crying and with candy in the hand. <laughs> you want some candy? Nah, motherfucker, not that bad. <laughs> Candy can make you cry, you can keep that shit, cause booty for Skittles ain't a deal for me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just take an apple. Cause pedophiles never give away fruit. <laughs> what do you want, little boys? Some grapes? <laughs> you get the death penalty in Texas, you fucking dead. Texas executed the second woman in 20 years. The first one was Carla Faye Tucker in 1998. She turned her life over to Christ and thought that that would make Texas spare her life. That's bullshit. Texas don't give a fuck. Like but I know Jesus would, bitch. Tell him we said hi. Hey, oh. You're going to be talking to the Lord as soon as this shot take over. Texas has a case of a 16-year-old boy this summer. He stole his father's pickup truck, stole the case of beer, drove drunk, killed four people, crippled two. His defense attorney argued that he was so wealthy and privileged his whole life that no one ever taught him the difference between right and wrong. And he's suffering from affluenza. And the judge bought that argument, that little boy would not serve one fucking day in jail. That's fucking true. Like, well, I can't do nothing about it. I'm just telling you the fucking truth. 
if rich people can get <laughs> affluence, how come broke people can't get brokeolepsy? Because <laughs> the cure for brokeolepsy is prison time. <laughs> right. well, lay down for 30 years, we'll see you in a bit. A lot of shit is different, man. Relationships are different, but the one thing about relationships that'll never change is men and women that use the same techniques. Men use uh, money and uh, material things to get what they want. Women use sex. I want a new car and I want a blowjob. <laughs> I want it to be brand new. You're going to have to swallow. <laughs> I want it fully loaded. Somebody getting fucked in the ass. That's what I mean. <laughs> Do you think you would like airbags? <laughs> I've been married for 28 years. You can tell when a man been married for a long time. Get up to that. Don't clap my hand on your side. I'm just telling you the truth. You can tell when a man been married for a long time. Get home from work. Don't even get out the car right away, do you? Just sit in the driver with the car running, getting ready for the bullshit. <laughs> Kids come outside. Hey, daddy, get in the goddamn house. Man, your mama know I'm home. Women say some crazy shit. Don't use my toothbrush, that's nasty. <laughs> nasty, girl, I just had my face in your ass. <laughs> We're gonna have to help you work on a new definition of nasty because you have set the bar so high, I feel. Ooh, my throat hurt. Do your throat hurt? <laughs> Man, in a relationship, everything changes. They give you head hard so you won't ask them again. <laughs> just, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> Fuck, are you a pencil sharpener? <laughs> Stop when you smell smoke. This shit hurts. You said this is what you wanted, but now I'm bleeding. So this is, this is a fucking assault, man. They're in a new relationship, all their underwear match. Soon as they get comfortable, they come to bed with any goddamn thing. Oh, red, bra, and green underwear. Looking like a fucking ghetto Avenger. You ever see him get in bed with a raggedy outfit on and try to be sexy hey, before we go to sleep? Did you want some of this? <laughs> nah, Thor, I'm good. <laughs> Why'd you put the hammer on your side of the bed? Huh? <laughs> Even after all these years, I'm still very much in love with my wife. She still does it for me, goddammit. I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was telling my girlfriend, I said, you know what? Because <laughs> I can talk to her. It can't get caught. I got caught one time. I thought she was going to cut my throat. Now, what if she did cut my throat and I live? I can't let her go to jail because I fucked up. I got to go to court and testify for her. Like, no, you honor she's a good woman. <laughs> I know she cut my throat, but it was hurting anyway. <laughs> I read an article that said having alcoholic beverages before bedtime can disrupt sleep. <laughs> Only for the motherfucker who didn't come home drunk and horny. Because we come home drunk, we're going to make it happen. Uh, you sleep? <laughs> It's too late, too late. What the fuck are you tomorrow? <laughs> I gotta get up and go to the gynecologist in the morning. You gotta go to the dentist too? <laughs> Never beg so much they just get in. Fuck it, fuck it, take it, take it. <laughs> well, don't take my panties all the way off. <laughs> just move them to the side. Never seen this shit before. Hurry up! <laughs> Hurry up! Uh-uh, I don't want a new car. I don't want a new car. <laughs> Women change when they have kids. They have kids, they won't fuck you till the kids go to sleep. Kids know you wanna fuck, they never gonna sleep. They they fight, sleep. Ah, oh, we ain't sleep yet. <laughs> the time we wake up, we got another brother or sister. This, this place is crowded. <laughs> they have no respect for your privacy. A closed door don't mean shit to them. <laughs> How come you guys are naked? It's all this whipped cream in your bed. You said we ain't supposed to eat in our bed. How come you didn't eat in your bed? Ooh, a toy, it's vibrating. Uh, Daddy, my throat hurts too now. <sighs> what are you and 
mama do? Your mama wants a new car. <laughs> That's the thing about relationships. Relationships are very different. Relationships, you gotta make sacrifices. Some things that make you don't feel don't make you feel so good. You gotta do things just to please somebody else. That's fucking. It's fucking disgusting sometimes. You ever know how something tastes, but you're ashamed to say how you know? Who <laughs> pee tastes salty? What? Anybody who don't know Pete Salty has never been in love before. <laughs> he is the flavor of love. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> what is this? Toilet paper? You left for all the toilet paper in your hand. No wonder my throat been hurt. <laughs> Women have no respect for your financial situation. They go out to dinner and they don't give a fuck about your financial constraints. Like, I'm gonna have the steak and the lobster. <laughs> well, that comes with dick, you understand that, right? <laughs> if you don't plan on fucking me, I'm gonna suggest the jalapeno pop. That's... <laughs> don't look away, that's not gonna stop me from fucking with you. <laughs> don't look at him, if you don't look at me, he can't see you. Is that your boyfriend? Did you have the jalapeno popper? Yeah. Look at him. No, she did not. Yeah. Look at him. They're going to do it. But I don't want airbags. You're beautiful. How'd he get you? He saved your life or something? Are you being held hostage? Look at her blinking her. Help me. I just want to stay in America. How are you, gorgeous? What do you do, sweetheart? You work in an office? Does you have a title? Or you just... I'm here. Are you motherfuckers on a field trip or something? Time to go to the office. Such a pretty retarded girl. What are you doing, radio? You all right? I like the office. Look at him, man. Radio's a nice girl. That's your boyfriend behind you? <laughs> you ain't gonna even look, huh? He's there. He's always there. How long y'all been messing around? Five years? You say that like you doing time. <laughs> look at her. Better than the country I came from. <laughs> How you doing? What do you do, young man? Construction? <laughs> you kinda small to do construction. You in charge of the nails? <laughs> I need a two by four. Uh, I'll get you the nail. <laughs> How are you? You ain't laughed yet. I'm still keeping your money. I don't give a fuck you laughing now. <laughs> I thought we were going to see Carrot Top. <laughs> this guy's an asshole. How are you? Is this a girl? Oh, yeah. Look at her. Oh, yeah. Look at her. Well, I didn't know that. <laughs> Find a new jalapeno popper was so good. <laughs> Y'all married or just fucking around? You married? Look at her. Married. <laughs> you said that you, said, like, you just accepted that fact. <laughs> Look at radio. What is happening? What the fuck is with this table? Is this a special Olympics? Look at radio. Throw the ball. Keep that ball away from my nail. God damn it. How you doing? You should eat. God damn. I look at you. I want to sing. We are the world. You can never go to jail. You'll walk between the bars. Officer! Look at dude the construction. Come work with me! <laughs> How you doing, sir? What do you do? <coughs> You're a designer? <laughs> what the fuck do that mean? Ta-da!
Nigga, you should design our office. <laughs> Keep your eyes closed. <laughs> design? Software? Oh, I'm sorry. Porno or? <laughs> I like porno. That's just love stories with all the talking taken out. You get sure how much you love her all over her face right now. Is this your girl? Your wife? You're beautiful. What do you do? Program management? How long you been together? Are you on some type of medication or something? What, what the fuck is with this section right here? Is it helmet night? Look at your radio, the wheels on the bunk door. Oh, turn it down. This is not amusing at all. You're gorgeous, what do you do? You stay at home, what is that, a government job? This is beautiful! I'll never leave! You have uh, kids, obviously. How old are the kids? 13. Get a job, lazy ass. <laughs> you only got one kid and you ain't at work? This a Mexican girl had a baby in the bathroom. She wouldn't work out <laughs> Work in the office, goddamn. There's plenty of shit for you to do. Okay, we are, we need help. <laughs> is this your husband? Why wow, y'all look young? Is y'all four? What the fuck? In my country, that's legal. <laughs> what do you do, sir? I work at the internet company. You work at the internet company? What do you like? I work on uh, <laughs> Look at her, love my office? No, I like your office. You don't want her to know what you do. But... What, do you, what do you say, a weedy motherfucker? So let me, let me help you out. Alarm clock goes off at 6 o'clock in the morning. You get dressed, you have a cup of coffee. You get in your car, you drive down the highway. You pull into a parking lot, you walk into a building. What the fuck happens next? <laughs> they said not much. It is a government job. How are you, gorgeous? What do you do? Look at, look at her. I'm beautiful, motherfucker. <laughs> I don't know who this bitch is. What do you do? I'm gonna hug. I'm just so happy you're here. Oh, sweetie, that's so nice. I'm happy too. Meet me in the back. <laughs> oh, you'll get your hug, all right, Tuss. <laughs> How are you? What do you do, love? You an accountant and aren't all women? You're broke. It's over. <laughs> Look at him. What do you do? You produce vodka. You produce vodka. It's almost ready. Look at the designer. Ta da! So, out of potato, or grain, or rye, or corn? That's moonshine, my <laughs> Banjo. Do, 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 do. <laughs> what do you produce, Buck? On Fourth Avenue. On 4th Avenue. <laughs>
I was saying my ABC. I was saying my ABC. I was saying my ABC. Well, you still do a point eight. Now get the goddamn thing. It was ABC vodka. Why didn't you just put Acme? <laughs> Uh, how are you, sir? What do you do? You are pale as a motherfucker. <laughs> what the fuck are you, a vampire? <laughs> I'm surprised you under the light. <laughs> you really are sleepless in Seattle, okay? <laughs> this is the walking dead. Ask vodka. What kind of ABC is <laughs> You obviously work inside. <laughs> A cane, motherfucker. <laughs> Look at that. I told you to get some sun. <laughs> it burns. <laughs> what do you do, sweetheart? Oh. You excuse me? An account? Both of y'all? At the same firm? <laughs> Different firms? Is that your boyfriend? You can't see him until the night time. <laughs> Close the windows and take out that flashlight. <laughs> How long y'all been together, sweetheart? Oh, 400 years. <laughs> <laughs> Women fucking love vampires. <laughs> they think they fucking sexy. Now, this is why a vampire bites you in your neck, you are eternally damned. But I give you a urinary track, in fact, you want to break up with me. <laughs> <laughs> Look at him. I know it. <laughs> How are you, sweetheart? What a pretty girl. What do you do? <coughs> Engineer, what kind? I do uh, airplane repairs. You do airplane repairs? <laughs> <laughs> what Shouldn't you be over in Malaysia right now? <laughs> And them motherfuckers don't even know where to look. Oh, well, it's over Puget Sound or <laughs> Algeria. I don't know. <laughs> we heard a ping, motherfucker, so did I. <laughs> what do you think happened? The, you know the fucked up part is? You don't want to comment? What? We ain't the fucking news. What the fuck she gonna do, Bill? People in the office guess what I heard. <laughs> Just designing an office. What? <laughs> what do you think happened? You know what fucked me up is the people at the gate waited like they was like the people, the employees that worked at the place. They knew the play would come, but still waited at the gate like that was wrong. <laughs> oh no! Motherfucker with the flashlight. <laughs> So what do you think happened? You're a pilot error, pilot error. yeah, no shit. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> do you know Northwest Airlines when they were, they had they had overshot their destination by 500 miles? <laughs> so it could happen. Is that your husband? No. Why you have to look? <laughs> I don't want to comment. <laughs> You have an entourage. Oh shit! Or a threesome, goddamn it. Whatever. <laughs> Look at him. Yes. <laughs> what do you do, sir? Porn. 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 <laughs> Fuck you. Hold the dick. <laughs> 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 Vampire. I mean. Uh, <laughs> How long y'all been together? Two years, you said? Four months. What'd you mean? <laughs> y'all don't know what the fuck y'all been doing? Are you motherfuckers all right? <laughs> Sit over here by radio. <laughs> Look at him. I can't. It's under the light. <laughs> you don't know where you met at? <laughs> Two mutual friends. <laughs> That sounds like some bullshit. <laughs> you can at least know what she did. I don't want to comment. <laughs> You're very sweet. Hey, uh, Craig. Yeah. 
Send this young lady a drink. Say it's from Dracula. But it's really <laughs> and get him a Bloody Mary. <laughs> In the chalice. <laughs> what do you have, sweetheart? Uh, Rip. What is? <laughs> Patron or Red Bull? The fuck you want to go lay, lay down and wake up? With the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying, you know what? I got bullshit. I'll give her a mother Patron and a Red Bull. In two separate things. <laughs> Let her mix it up. <laughs> and really get Dracula. A Bloody Mary. <laughs> now, what do you want, Drake? You drinking the same thing? You ain't got no problem staying up, huh? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm trying to get her drunk for you. <laughs> All right, if she get drunk, you do something free to you tonight. You gotta make her say my name one time. <laughs> you guys have been great. Thank you very much. Uh, CEO of the ROC. Fresh out the train, man, you're living in the fire. I'll be the music fans number one.